I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and a lot of people with the Google Home wonder if you can change the word that you say in order to get it to start listening. So at the moment, um, when you get it, the word is, OK, Google, stop. So you can see when I say that word, um, it wakes up, OK, Google. And the lights on the top are indicating that it's listening to me. It might say something back to me because it's hearing what I'm saying now. Um, but a lot of people want to change it to something other than OK Google um, and you know have their own custom phrase or something like that. And unfortunately, it's not possible with the Google Home at the moment to do that. You can only use that OK Google wake word. Um, and some people call it the name of the device. They want to change its name so you can address it as something other than OK Google. Um, the only two that work are OK Google or Hey Google. And um, this is in contrast to the Amazon Echo, which provides a couple more uh, words you can use. Um, but really, I mean, most of these don't allow I can you to only set... help you with the first request. Stop. Who knows? Yeah, that's, a, that's a good answer. Um, so, I mean, most of these speakers are using uh, only these sort of stock built in wake words. And the reason for that is that. It's listening to what you're saying all the time, but it's only streaming audio to the cloud to be processed by Google or Amazon or whoever else is providing the device once it realizes that you're addressing it. Um, so you really don't want it to be sending um, all of the conversation going on in your room to Amazon or Google or whoever all the time. So it's not actually sending anything, even though it's always listening, until it hears that wake word. So my speculation is that um, you know, there's a lot of really advanced uh, voice recognition and that kind of thing happening on the cloud with the audio that it does send, and that's how you get really detailed, um, complicated questions answered. But that first piece of voice recognition of just recognizing the wake word to start sending information to the cloud, that all has to be done here on the device itself. And these are not very beefy devices in terms of their computing power. So my guess is that um, they can't really have it respond to any word because it would require training the device to recognize your voice and doing all of that calculation on the device itself instead of out on the cloud. So they probably have to choose a couple of words, um, train it extremely well so that it always knows it can recognize those words and hear when the user wants to wake it up, um, and then be able to do that recognition on this very sort of underpowered little device to know when you're talking to it. And then once it knows it's awake, it can stream the audio to the cloud and take advantage of the incredible computing power that these different organizations have. Um, but you know that means that you really can't customize your wake word that much. You're stuck with what's probably a really well-trained uh, set of words. In this case, there's just one with um, the Amazon Echo. I think there's maybe four or five different words you can use to wake it up. Um, and once it's awake, then it can do the more powerful things, but you're really constricted by, I think, um, I guess, is what it can actually do on the device and what they can train so that it can really always know when it hears that wake word and it can start sending the data um, away from this device itself and into the cloud. Uh, if you found that helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.